Here we will see one more method of inscribing a pentagon in a given circle. So we'll start with this circle and draw two diameters which are perpendicular to each other meeting at center O like this. And then we are going to take the midpoint of one of the radii say over here and uh, that will give us uh, this point M the midpoint. We'll connect it to this uh, end E of the other radius. So we have drawn a sort of hypotenuse here of this right angle triangle and then we will bisect this angle O M E. So that will give us a point say B where the bisector meets uh, the radius and then this point B will be projected upward vertically upward uh, till it meets the circle. So where the projector meets let's call that point as P and we are essentially done. Uh, these two points P and E are known to lie on a perfect pentagon. So if we connect this side say PE and then we start rotating it uh, over here about the center while making a copy. So I'll take this side, I'll start rotating about this point so that this end of it comes and sits at the other end. And then again I do a similar rotation, one more rotation and copy, one more rotation and copy. And then if you go to this point and if we zoom this then you will see that at least visually uh, this looks perfect. Okay? But that's not the best way of checking things. So let us do it mathematically. Uh, let us check if the pentagon that we uh, got over here is a perfect pentagon or not. And if so, why? So let us do a little derivation over here. I'm going to take an arbitrary value of uh, this radius, uh, but some convenient value. Say we are going to bisect this, so let us take the value 2. Okay, so the radius is say 2. Uh, then half the radius that we took here with the midpoint would be 1. And in this right angle triangle OME, if this is 1, this is 2, the hypotenuse ME must be square root of 5. Uh, now there is a nice property of bisectors. So in this triangle OME, we have a bisector. Uh, then this bisector will be dividing the base in the same ratio as these two sides. Say 1 is to square root 5. I will write it down over here like this. So in triangle uh, OME we have taken these ratios, the bisector property and then I'm going to do some algebra. Basically taking the numerator and adding to the denominator on both sides. You can call it as invertendo, componendo and then invertendo again but basically a simple operation like this. So numerator added to denominator on both sides. Now let us take stock of what we have got here. Uh, OB plus BE, this denominator OB plus BE would give us the full radius that is 2. Over here MO plus ME, MO which is 1 plus ME square root 5. So 1 upon 1 plus root 5 and that is a very interesting uh, property or value especially when you are trying to get a pentagon. Why? Because 1 upon 1 plus square root 5 is nothing but cos of 72 degrees. And why should we be so happy? Well, getting 72 degrees is a key to placing a pentagon because 72 is one fifth of 360. So if you can take this circle and divide it into five parts, essentially come up with angle 72, then we can place a perfect pentagon. And we have got it right here. So OB upon 2. So OB upon 2, but 2 happens to be the radius. So let us show that here. This is uh, the radius. Okay. Uh, let me get rid of uh, this other junk so you'll see it better. So this is the triangle I'm talking about OPB. And what is this ratio? OB upon OP. OB, the adjacent side to this angle upon OP, the radius. It is nothing but the cos of this angle over here. So if cos of that angle is uh, cos of 72 then that angle itself must be 72 and therefore this side is subtending a perfect angle of 72 degrees so copying it around five times would give us perfect pentagon so that's the proof so before closing let us just recap our construction so we start with a circle we draw two uh, diameters perpendicular to each other we bisect one of the diam one of the radii like this then we connect that midpoint to the end of the other radius. Uh, then we bisect the angle made by this hypotenuse with uh, this half radius and we get point B and that point B is projected up till it meets the circle. And connecting these points P and E 
gives us the first side of the pentagon and we only need to rotate and copy or maybe you will take uh, this distance PE in your compass keep your uh, compass at P and cut an arc and keep doing that successively to get all the five sides so this is our pentagon and in this case it is a perfect pentagon 